Churchill. Today I want to talk to you about um, editing software, simple free editing software. Many people these days take pictures with phones and compact cameras but they don't do anything with them, they just download them straight onto their laptop or onto their Facebook page or whatever and I think they look a bit dull some of them and they're not framed correctly and that kind of thing so if you were a professional you would you would buy a very expensive piece of software called Photoshop or you would download a, an editing software like GIMP both of which are very good products but quite expensive GIMP's free but very very technical um, takes a long time to learn so uh, I've been looking around trying to find something that's a little bit easier I found a, a photo editing package called Photoscape which is free easy to use and it does nearly everything that most people would would need from a photo editor so I'm going to show you how to get this piece of software by going on to the internet um, just go into your your search bar at the top and type in www dot download dot com and when that comes up in the box in the top right hand corner just type in photo scape gives me a couple of options and I click on the Photoscape 3.5 which is the current option current version and right at the top of the page it's here's the here's the uh, package Photoscape got good editors ratings good user ratings a lot of people have downloaded it that normally tells you it's a good package you just need to click on this download icon on the right and it will quickly download onto your system once it's downloaded you can open up Photoscape and this is what Photoscape looks like looks a little bit complicated but I can assure you it's not most of the things are simple like print icons and that kind of thing there's a couple of interesting ones at the top there's a very good viewer which uh, allows you to scroll up and down where your photos are and you can view them you can uh, you can even get them into a slideshow if you want which uh, just just takes a little bit of time full screen slideshow lots of uh, lots of things there we've got a batch editor which we can put lots of uh, pictures in and change them all at the same time to a different size or whatever but I'm going to concentrate on the editor which I think is great first of all you just select your images and they come out on this, this small menu bar here if I select an image just click on it and you see that quickly opens up in this this page the top of the uh, page we have a menu icon and that's just simply loading new photos, printing, saving you can even save this picture to your wallpaper if you want to the EXIF detail is just the information that was taken from the camera shooting uh, settings and all that kind of thing you can set this into a slideshow the photos we have open we can copy this picture and paste it somewhere else the along the bottom of the picture here we've got some zoom buttons so I can zoom in and zoom out if I want to so I can look at the detail the photo size in pixels and the photo's name a few other icons here I can flip the picture around uh, if I want to obviously that's not right for that photo and that's simple to undo I come down to the undo button click undo and it puts it back to where it was this undo button always works one step so I can go all the way back if I want if I've done a lot of work I can click all the way back in one steps in single steps if I want to take them all the way back I just click the undo all ok 
okay so loads of things just just on the on the front page there but there are four tabs home object crop and tools all pretty simple first thing I would do with this picture is crop it so click crop crop freely you can crop to a size if you want to but I'm just going to drag across the the picture I'm going to put the bird about a third of the way from the top of the picture and a third of the way in from the left and that looks a, a bit better I won't go through all the things this package can do but um, if I wanted to change it to black and white I could or sepia there's some presets there obviously if I want to undo that back one and back one takes me back I can put text in I can add a picture in I can put shapes in I can put a balloon in with some, some text in I've got other tools like I can get rid of red eye pictures of people with red eyes I can remove blemishes remove moles um, there's a paintbrush here I can paint colour on I can use the clone stamp to clone out if I wanted to get rid of this little patch of white on the, on the blackbird I could easily just clone that out and that's, that's quite a useful tool so back to the home page all I think I need to do to this picture now is probably just brighten it up a little bit and to brighten it up I just go to brighten on the bright and colour tab here right and when I click it I can do a do it high high middle or low brightening I just do it in the middle and you see the picture just brightens up a little bit I can change the contrast and bump that up a little bit I could even if I wanted to saturate the um, colour balance uh, to give me more to more co more colour or less but I don't think this particularly needs it I can add a frame if I want to so there's lots of frames to choose from and you just really scroll down here and pick a pick a frame and then that just just click it and it adds it quite a neat little little facility there I could do rounded corners all sorts of things with this I can make it bigger lots lots of things I can I can do with that so all in all this is a quite a simple package to use um, nice and quick so I'm going to be using it quite a lot and I think uh, I think it's worth anybody having a little little play with it and it will it will make your pictures more presentable and easier to print off for yourselves thanks for watching this video um, any questions just just ask and um, I'll see if I can answer them thank you